Hi YouTube, I'm Natasha Trader Joe's List. Welcome to my new Trader Joe's kitchen. Today I spent $156 at Trader Joe's and I only had a list for about 10 things. So somehow things got a little out of hand. I'm not upset about it, but I'm gonna jump into this haul. Make sure if you like my videos, you like them, you subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you like. Let's jump into this $156 haul. I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna eat in this haul. Let's jump into it. Oh dear. Oh dear, the comedy of errors continues. Um, I'm Natasha at Trader Joe's List. I just spent $156 at Trader Joe's. This is take two. This is take two. Um, so we are gonna go through this $156 haul. This is my new kitchen. Welcome to the new Trader Joe's studio. This is where all the videos will be formed, filmed here on out. Um, so that's very exciting. I did move and we'll talk all about that in another time. But let's jump into this. The first item, liquid laundry detergent. Nothing like moving and not being able to wash your clothes for a week, so I'm very excited to start fresh. I like the lavender um, liquid laundry detergent when I buy my laundry detergent from Trader Joe's. Um, and this is the high efficiency one, so it doesn't take a lot and it gets your clothes very clean. Also, that was heavy, be careful too. Um, a friend of mine will be house sitting for me and so I asked for her Trader Joe's list. So a lot of these items are for her, which was like, one of my favorite things to do is go shopping for other people. Like, going to Trader Joe's brings me joy, and then when I get to go shop for other people and I have a list, I'm like, oh yeah. Because usually I just go in, no list, and just whatever. So, she asked for some popcorn, so I got her the Hatch Chili Cheddar Season Popcorn. I have sampled this in the past. Um, and then I also got her White Cheddar Corn Puff. Both of these look good. I just noticed how enormous this bag was when I was at Trader Joe's, and it looked very, very massive. Um, I do want to try some of this stuff, but I feel weird if like she's coming to house it and then she's like, oh, it's open. But I don't think she'd actually care. I'd be like, just watch the video. Um, I picked up some fresh berries. I love the raspberries. They're so good. I'm going to take a bite of one of these because you won't be able to tell. But these are the raspberries. They're super just delicious. I always forget how much I love raspberries until I buy them. And it reminds me how good they are. Um, I also like blackberries, so why don't we go ahead and do that. I'm very hungry in this haul, so I'm just going to kind of eat my way through it. These are the blackberries. They're massive, and they're organic. And you know what? I just don't have time to clean anything off right now, so hopefully I survive this sampling of berries without washing them. Mmm. So good. So good. As a kid, we would go pick blackberries on the East Coast. And it was the funnest thing in the world and I would like come home with like blackberry seeds in my teeth and my hand stained and it was like a good life. Um, I picked up the new Loker Quadrant, not new, but this is Loker Quadrantini dark chocolate. Um, oh, also says non-GMO project verified. That's, that's new. Um, I like that, but these are just like a little housewarming. Well, I guess it's a housewarming for me, but she's house sitting. So everyone likes these. Bottom line, everyone likes these. So I picked them up for her. She'll enjoy them. Um, I picked up some eggs. I got the pasture-raised organic. I can't eat eggs because of a food allergy, but when I buy eggs for other people, I like to get the pasture-raised organic ones. I feel like those chickens might be happier, and that brings me joy. Brings me joy. Um, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are always good to cook um, and just have on hand. So I picked up a bag. Uh, they're just there's so many things you can do with a potato, and cauliflower does present some sort of a competition. Um, but sweet potatoes, were, or just potatoes in general, were the OG. You can mash them, you can turn them into a fry, you can turn them into a casserole. So many options, you can do sweet potato ribbons, turn it into a pasta. A lot of options, a lot of options. Um, she also requested some kombuchas, so I picked up several, which we'll go through. I got two of the, the cayenne ones, I picked up um, a ginger aid, we'll get to those later, but other stuff. Liquid dish soap, need that for the new house. Realize there wasn't any liquid dish soap. Well, there was a little bit, but it's just not done. And then the Enriched Moisturizing Face Lotion. Um, I did pick up a couple beauty products for me. I'm gonna be traveling and I realize I'm like out of like face lotion, so I just wanted something that's easy to pack and has a little bit of um, SPF. So this is the Enriched Moisturizing Face Lotion. I think it's gonna be pretty good. It has A, C, and E. It's non cosmogenic Sometimes I hear it in my head and I just can't pronounce it. So I just don't say it often enough. And it does not cause clog pores. That's the definition of this. Um, we've also picked up some sweet, not sweet, English muffin bread. English muffin bread. Now I can't have this, but rumor has it, it is absolutely delicious. 
Um, so I picked up some English muffin bread. I like the gluten-free English muffins. I am hooked on those. But I didn't buy any because I'm leaving, so it wouldn't make sense to buy them. Um, I picked up some strawberries. This goes with the berries. Um, there was the prettiest display of organic cotton candy. Sorry, not organic, but they are cotton candy, all natural, wow, non-GMO grapes. I just love these, and every time I see them, I buy them. And one of the things I'm most excited about with my move is not only is this kitchen just like bigger, um, there's like an island, but my last kitchen was like literally like a galley kitchen and I had no way to move in it. And this I can like, I could do lunches if I wanted to. But the fridge, that's what I was gonna say. The fridge is huge, there's room, like so much space. I didn't realize how small my fridge was until I have a bigger fridge. But anyways, I got cotton candy crepes. These are great. I always find the first grape is the best one. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my first cotton candy grapes. So good, so good. How do they do it? I don't wanna know. Tastes like cotton candy. I did make a video that if you cut them in half and squeeze a little bit of lime juice on them, it kinda tastes like a cotton candy Sour Patch Kid. Your mind will be blown, it's easy to do. Just chop it in half and you're good to go. Um, mini heirloom tomatoes, these are great. Pop them in a salad, do whatever you want. Um, I bought these in my last haul and I'm making the Subaru salad, so I po did a post on Instagram um, where you could see the salad, but I'm working on the reel. It's just a lot of chopping, 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 and editing. There's a lot of editing that goes into these videos, making the reel. So that will be posted either tomorrow or sometimes in the next few days. I have a very long flight coming up, which is provides me with ample time to get things done. Um, I am taking with me in my suitcase several items because I cannot go without Trader Joe's for two weeks. Um, so I did pick up a box of Go Macro Bars. I find that I am going to Europe and I find that when I'm traveling in Europe, sometimes it's hard for me to find breakfast foods that I can have outside of just eating cheese and meat. So I always just take some bars with me so I can at least have a breakfast option because like I can hold out, but like if I don't eat right when I wake up in the morning, I will pass out and be angry. Um, oh, these are for me today. I'm gonna eat these once I get off with you guys. These are the spicy porkless plant-based snack rice. I can't stop at eating these. I'm very addicted to them and they're absolutely delicious. So, definitely a yummy one if you've seen those. Um, some other items I got uh, in the beauty department include the hand and body cream. This is just a nice lotion. It's a little thicker so it doesn't rub in as quickly as some lotions, but I do find that once it's absorbed in, it's not sticky or greasy, so I do like this. So this is just to have in the bathroom because everything's still in boxes and I don't know where my other lotion is and I don't have time to unpack. Um, oh, I did mention the other um, kombuchas I got the strawberry lemonade for, um, a ginger aid, and one more cayenne aid. So those are for her. I used to drink a lot of kombuchas, my only qualm with them is that they've got 12 grams of 16 grams of sugar and I when I have sugar it gets me like feeling great and then it's like and then I just I don't I don't feel good and then I'm I'm just not doing great but um I do like the hard kombuchas because I find those not sweet they're actually drier than these kombuchas um so yeah but I know a lot of friends like these so to them, for them I will buy them. Um, I also picked up for the trip Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Um, I do use a retinol product like once or twice or three times a week. And so I find that when I do use it, naturally it dries your skin out a little bit. So I like the gel moisturizers. Um, I try not to wear a lot of makeup unless I'm going out somewhere like I literally have no makeup on at this moment. But I, the last thing I want is if I do put makeup on for it to be cakey or like crumbly at all. So anyways. I do like the Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Um, probably some other brands I might buy before this, but given my time crunch and I leave very soon, I pick this up. So these will be going with me, the Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion and the Gel Moisturizing. I have sensitive skin too, so that's, that's another thing. Um, in my care package that I'm taking for myself, I also picked up a bunch of Antop Almonds because I don't know what I will do without those if I don't have them for yeah, for everything. So another one, that's four. There's actually a fifth bag that I started eating on the way here. So that happened. Um, and I also am taking magnesium with me. Magnesium's just, I think, overall a great 
And if you're feeling off, it's like drink water and take some magnesium and I promise you, you will feel better. So I'm just taking magnesium with me. I feel like we're gonna be going out to eat and having drinks and blah, 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 blah. Always, always take magnesium if you can. Um, and then I've got two organic acai bowls. This was another request that was made. So I picked up two of these. They are good, I, I've had them in the past. I do like to add a little bit of cashew butter or almond butter to them. It makes them absolutely delicious. Um, cold brew coffee, she asked for a cold brew coffee. So I picked up two for her. I didn't know which one she wanted. Um, I got the organic French roast. This one's um, more concentrated. So you have to mix this with water. And then this is the cold brew coffee ready to drink. So you don't mix this one water at all. Um, I, I, I do like these. Um, I don't drink a ton of coffee. When I do drink coffee, it's before a ride or when I need a little pow, wake up. Um, so yeah, I think they're both good options. If you like it strong, you can, you'd can. you probably wanna go this one because you can mix and match it. Um, but these are two good options from Trader Joe's. I'd be curious to know which one's your favorite, the red one or the blue one. Is it the red or the blue? That reminds me of Ace Ventura from years ago. Um, and then I picked up a cheesecake because who doesn't love a cheesecake? I actually have to take this to a friend's for a birthday party before I go. And that is it. Um, so yes, there were some tef technical difficulties today, but we made it through. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch. I will still be doing some lives while I'm away. It just won't be as Trader Joe's focused, but I'm gonna try to go to grocery stores and find items that like I either A, wish Trader Joe's carried, or B, I think Trader Joe's carries, and I found like the knockoff brand of it. But that's it. Let me know what your favorite item is in this haul. Thank you for joining me in the new kitchen setup and for bearing with me with the technical difficulties on this haul, but appreciate you guys. I will see you in a couple weeks back in this kitchen with a new Trader Joe's haul, and at that time, it will be Pumpkin Palooza, so just get ready. Pumpkin Palooza starts September 7th. Um, that's the rumor, and I'm excited for it. So I'll see you guys later, and yeah, have a good end of August. Bye.